Hi guys, a small small enhancements this program. Like reading elements from this scanner, stored into array and sort them without any predefined array method. Predefined array method. So here, here I want to print the number like starts from the one instead of zero. So I am adding like uh, plus one. Yeah, let's check first of all. Error. Java program. I'm giving size to. Yeah, now it is getting one. Yeah, sorted. Next, we need to close scanner. So at last. You can sc dot close. You can use sc dot close. After that, these are the two are there, the common. You can cut this. You can take element like a field like integer, integer length is equal to here around dot length. Next, you can use. Control C, you can place here. You can place. Yeah, these are the major changes. So, let's check again. After that, I will debug also this program. 4, 9, 90, 1, 7. Yeah, this is the sorted. So put one big point, double click or right click, toggle break point. So run as debug as Java application. It will be switched to debug perspective. It is asking the size. I'm giving six. It is asking to enter the elements 91 24 56 9 17 it is asking to switch confirm to switch it is switching here we are storing the variables we are storing the expressions breakpoints here we are storing the expressions here i have only one breakpoint so here yeah, check length is six. We are added six letters, six elements here, six elements. After that, see here step into step over. So step into means it will go goes to in deep. Like it is goes to in deep. Like this see it is goes to integer class in deep. Java library, it is going to inside Java library. So we don't want that. That's why we are using step over. Step over. It will be comparing. What is comparing? Like it will comparing. See here. See, it will compare 1 and 34. See, uh, I, I value 0, J value 1. After that, step over. After that, it will entering. See, it will store in 0. zero default value is 0 after that check here check here now temporary value is 90 
j value 1 i value 0 90 1 step over it is again coming to second loop next step forward check here j is equal to 2 so j is equal to 2 step forward check here i is equal to 0 j is equal to 2 step forward again checking step in again checking this uh, this greater than condition matching or not it is checking again this is the 3 this is the 0 again again checking see here it is the 0 0 means i equal to 0 Array value 0 is equal to 1 is there, j is equal to 90 is there. So, like this way, we can debug, we can check these are the we can check breakpoint. Suppose if I added another breakpoint, see here it is added another breakpoint. You can also keep some expressions here. We can also see values like that. Thank you for watching.